Thank you for tuning in to the Washington, D.C. trip informational video. Over the next few minutes, we will help students and parents prepare for the upcoming 8th grade trip. We are aiming to answer all your questions in, the, in this video, but if you have any more questions, you can email Mr. Goldstein or Ms. Webster. Our trip will begin early on Tuesday, June 1st. Students should arrive at the school promptly at 3.30 a.m. They will check in with their chaperone and load their luggage on their assigned charter bus. Students have been assigned to a bus already. This information is posted in school. Chaperones will also have the list of the morning in case someone forgets. We will depart from Parker at exactly 4, 4 a.m. This is so we can be on time for our flight. We are on a tight schedule, so please be, arrive on time with the buses. We can't wait for any late students. Students will need a picture ID, which the school provides, and their birth certificate to pass through security. Birth certificates were due to Mr. Goldstein or Mrs. Webster the week before the trip. The, the chaperones will hold on to them for the duration of the trip, and they will be returned afterwards. All flight information is listed on the final itinerary that has been sent home. Students on bus 3 will be flying on JetBlue, and students on buses 1 and 2 will take air train. Action. In the interest of safety, students will be given a bracelet to wear during the trip. It describes what, you, what to do in the event of an emergency, the numbers to call, and the tour company information. Students will not take the bracelets off until we arrive back at Parker. They will also exchange their cell phone numbers with their specific chaperone to use in an emergency. It is important that parents stress that school rules will still apply on the trip, as this is an academic environment. Students from Parker are expected to be on their best behavior and represent our community in a positive way. In the rare instance that there's a problem, parents will be notified and students will face the same consequences as in school. In the event of a serious behavior issue, students will be sent home early from the trip. This has never had to happen with Parker and we don't expect it to be an issue this year either. Students are allowed one suitcase and one carry-on for the trip. Specific packing guidelines have been sent home and posted on Edelman. Please be sure to follow them closely as they will be strictly enforced by the airplane and airport security. Students should remember to pack co comfortable clothing. It should be warm there and a lot of walking. We recommend that students dress in layers and be prepared to pack a sweatshirt and a rain jacket if there is bad weather there. A nice outfit is needed for our evening at the Kennedy Center and students in the wreath ceremony will need to be dressed appropriately as well. Don't forget to pack your toiletries like toothpaste, deodorant, face wash, etc. in your suitcase as well as it is not allowed in the carry-on and security will take it away. You might get hungry on the plane or the bus, so bring a healthy snack like wheat thins or granola bars to carry with you. You might want to bring a book to read on the plane or bus as well. We also recommend bringing your camera, music player, and cell phone. Keep these items safe in your carry-on, but be careful. You are responsible for keeping track of your own things, and the tour won't be able to go back to pick up lost items. We are hoping for bright sunny days, so sunblock is important. Bring it along in your suitcase. There will not be many opportunities to do any shopping, but having some spending money is a good idea. For example, you might want to drink or snack at the airport, or want to buy mom a souvenir at the Smithsonian. We do not recommend bringing more than $50 or so. You don't want to lose it or spend it on things you don't really need, like candy or gum. There will be so much to do on the trip. You will have no time. You will have no time for video games, music speakers, laptops, or DVDs. So leave them at home. They are not allowed on the trip, so they will be confiscated by your chaperone. We will be staying at the Marriott Hotel in Greenbelt, Maryland. The contact information is on the final itinerary. If your parents want to call you there, the rooms have two double beds, a TV, and a bathroom for the students to share. This means that you should plan to get up early and ready before you're due at breakfast. If you're late, you hold up the entire group. We will not be in the hotel rooms mu much because we will be tearing, touring Washington from 8 a.m. to about 10 p.m. each day. Action. Students have to be awake and at breakfast by 7 a.m., so it is important that you get your rest. You'll need it from all the fun we'll have. In the event of a delay, parents will receive a message from the school and call from their child. At curfew, students are expected to go to bed. CTA and the Marriott have posted security in the hallway and students are not allowed to leave their rooms unless there is an emergency. This is taken very seriously by the chaperones and will result in considerable consequences. Parents should plan to call the, call the students during downtime while on the bus or back to the hotel. Students can uh, best do this by calling or texting home when they have free time. 
We are scheduled to land back in Boston between 7 and 8 p.m. on Friday, June 4th. Parents should plan to be at the school for pickup at 8.30 p.m. Remember, if you have any other questions that aren't answered in the final itinerary, please let Mr. Goldstein or Ms. Webster know. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you in D.C.